According to a Google KPMG report, online education is expected to be a $1.96 billion market here in India by 2021. But why? What is it about online education that Indian students and their parents find so attractive? Well, if you're Indian, and I know that about 80% of you guys are, then you probably already know why. For the most part, traditional education in this country is lacking. According to the 2019 National Employability Report for Engineers, 37.7% of Indian engineers fail to write an error-free code, compared to only 10.4% of Chinese engineers. And on top of that, 80% of Indian engineers, according to this report, are deemed unfit for any job in the expanding knowledge economy. And that's really what makes EdTech so exciting. Finally, there are solutions being created to solve the problems that traditional education in this country can't. Welcome to Backstage with Millionaires, guys. I'm Caleb, your host, and today we're gonna to be talking about the top 10 EdTech startups that are helping to fix India's fractured education ecosystem. Starting off with number 10, we have InterviewBit, which is an e-learning platform for students and working professionals. Founded by Anshuman Singh and Abhimanyu Saxena in 2015, InterviewBit started as a platform that coached students for interviews at tech giants like Facebook, Google, and Amazon. Recognizing the lack of coding skills among engineering college graduates, InterviewBit introduced InterviewBit Bit Academy, now called Scalar Academy, in April of 2019. Scalar Academy provides an immersive six-month training program that helps its students to develop tech skills and also assists them in connecting with the right companies. InterviewBit is particularly interesting because students aren't charged a single penny until they've secured a job with a certain minimum salary. In other words, they don't get paid until you get paid. Wouldn't it be great if all schools were like that? To date, over 4,000 students have benefited from the Scalar program, and this number will continue to increase thanks to the company's investors who have invested $20 million into the EdTech startup so far. These investors include Sequoia Capital, Tiger Global, and Global Founders Capital. Next up at number nine, we have EdTech startup Doubtnut, which was founded by IIT Delhi alumni Tanushree Nagori and Aditya Shankar in 2017. Doubtnut helps students from the sixth to the 12th grade to clear their doubts by providing quick and easy solutions to their math problems. In order to get the solutions to these problems, students can either type their questions in manually or they can upload a picture of the math problem onto Doubtnut's app and let its machine learning algorithm do the rest. What's more, this edtech startup is empowering students from smaller cities who find it hard to access quality education by enabling the app to read questions in 12 different Indian languages, including English. In less than three years, the startup claims to have obtained 13 million active users, 85% of which are from smaller cities. Seeing the potential of the platform, Doubtnut's investors have pumped $15 million into the company since 2017. These investors include Tencent Holdings, Omidyar Network India, CureFit's co-founder Ankit Nagori, and Sequoia Capital. Moving on to number eight, we have online exam preparation platform GradeUp. This edtech startup was founded by Shobit Bhatnagar, Sanjeev Kumar, and Vibhu Bhushan in 2015. GradeUp prepares students for their exams by providing access to live interactive classes, detailed solutions to and analyses of test series questions, and doubt clearing sessions. According to the startup, more than 15 million students use their website and app to prepare for exams for jobs in sectors like banking, railway, and teaching. So far, GradeUp has raised $10 million from Times Internet. All right, next up at number seven on our list is online learning platform Topper. Started by Zeshan Hayat and Hemant Koteti in 2013, the initial focus of Topper was on the online test preparation market. But with the growth of student population and the need for quality education, they decided to expand their services to offer learning materials for students studying in grades fifth to 12th. Using a subscription model, Topper offers their students online classes, live lectures with flexible timings, 24-7 doubt-clearing chat sessions with teachers, and mock tests. In 2016, Topper had 1 million students on its platform, which has grown by 10x in the last three years to reach over 10 million students. This rapid growth has been fueled, in part, by Topper's investors, who have injected $65 million into the company. These investors include Hellion Venture Partners, Eight Roads Ventures, and Scythe Partners. All right, next up at number six, we have India's largest online higher education startup, Upgrad. 
Founded by Mayank Kumar, Falgun Kompali, and Ravi Jot Chung in 2015, Upgrad has collaborated with leading global universities and industry partners to offer immersive online post-graduation programs to help students learn anywhere at any time. They started off with an entrepreneurship program, but now offer courses across domains like data science, machine learning, blockchain, and digital marketing. In a short span of time, Upgrad has managed to help more than 350,000 students and professionals and currently has more than 18,000 active paid subscribers. The startup is also creating a comprehensive online platform for learners by enabling their students to access one-on-one -on -one mentoring, peer-to-peer -peer learning, and industry networking to help them take their careers in the right direction. Moving on to number five, we have global certification training provider, Simply Learn. Simply Learn was started by Krishna Kumar as a blog, where he would teach his readers about the internet and impart his learnings from his earlier venture, Tech Unified. However, he soon realized that a lot of professionals were using his blog to grow their career. And so he decided to turn his online blog into an online learning platform in 2010. Within six months of making this change, the startup was already profitable and had managed to do so without any marketing expense. Today, Simply Learn is a leading global player in online certification, offering more than 400 certified courses. What's more, they've already trained over a million professionals while helping them advance their careers. So far, this edtech startup has raised $31 million from investors like Kalari Capital, Hellion Venture Partners, and InnoVent Capital. Coming in at number four, we have Imbibe which is an AI-powered customized learning platform that was founded by Aditi Avasti in 2012. Imbibe helps students to prepare for competitive exams like JEE, NEET, AIMS, and BITSAT, among others. And the startup is using technology to help their students ace competitive exams by using AI to improve the students' learning behavior through personalized suggestions and learning plans. In 2018, Indian conglomerate Reliance Industries acquired Imbibe, and this acquisition has enabled Imbibe to strengthen its technology platform and expand its user base by acquiring edtech startups like Online Tiare and Funtoot. To date, Reliance has invested nearly $200 million into Imbibe and is looking to leverage the startup's capabilities to connect over 1.9 million schools and 58,000 universities across India using technology. Next up at number three, we have interactive online tutoring platform Vedantu. This edtech startup was founded by Vamsi Krishna, Anand Prakash, Pulkit Jain, and Saurabh Saxena in 2014. But before starting Vedantu, the four friends had started their journey as entrepreneurs and teachers way back in 2006 by setting up an offline educational institute called Lakshya. Through their first education venture, these young entrepreneurs wanted to spread quality education to the less privileged children in India. However, they soon realized that offline was an inefficient and challenging medium to reach the masses. And this conclusion eventually led them to start Vedantu in 2014. Vedantu now offers live online lectures to students across the country and the world using their technology platform. So far, they've managed to empower more than 950,000 students across 500 cities worldwide. They've been able to do this in part thanks to the help of their investors, who have invested over $80 million into the startup so far. These investors include Amid Your Network, Tiger Global, GGV Capital, and Axel. Next up at number two is India's largest learning platform, Unacademy. Way back in December of 2010, Gaurav Munjal started Unacademy as a YouTube channel. Over time, his educational channel started to gain traction among students. He eventually went on to start another venture called Flat Chat, all the while posting videos on this channel. However, things really started to pick up when another co-founder, Roman Saini, joined an academy and started posting videos to help students prepare for UPSC exams. Sharing the goal of revolutionizing the Indian education system, Himesh Singh and Sachin Gupta also joined him in his journey. In 2016, An Academy raised $1 million in seed funding from Bloom Ventures and other angel investors. This funding enabled the startup to launch its own app. Today, An Academy has over 4 million subscribers on its various YouTube channels alone and boasts over 2 million views every single month on its platform. As of today, An Academy has raised $200 million from its investors and is well on its way to becoming a unicorn. And finally, coming in at number one is the undisputed leader in India's online education space and the only edtech unicorn in the country, Baijus. Baiju Ravindran started teaching students to clear their CAT exams with a batch of 35 students. And within six weeks, he was filling out auditoriums with 1,200 students. 
As he started to focus his attention on school children, he got so popular that he had to start hiring stadiums to accommodate his students. At one point in time, Baiju was teaching more than 25,000 students. Finally, in 2015, Baiju decided to start Baijus by launching an app for the students that he had been teaching. Thanks to this app, he would no longer have to go from place to place to teach his students. The company's innovative teaching pedagogy has enabled it to garner over 40 million subscribers, 2.8 million of which are paid subscribers. Today, Baiju's is India's third most valued startup after Paytm and Oyo, and is the only profitable consumer internet unicorn in the country. To date, Baiju's has raised $1.4 billion from the likes of General Atlantic, Sequoia Capital, Tiger Global, and Tencent Holdings. All right, guys, there you have it. Those are our picks for the top 10 Indian edtech startups. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm curious to know, what did you guys think of our list? Let me know in a comment down below, and I would also love it if you could share this video with anybody that you think would enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Backstage with Millionaires, and I'll see you in the next one.